Once we have the mold, we start out and we usually, what we call, pug out a piece of clay. So we have a pug mill and it pretty much, it's like it extrudes a long piece of clay. So we, we make it into the exact size that we want for the fish. And then sometimes you cut that piece into, into different shapes and you cut that out and you hand press it into the mold. Sometimes potters pour a liquid, ours is a little bit of a harder clay. So we push it right into the mold and then we hollow out the back, we make it the exact um, you know, thickness we want because all the fish are hollow in, inside. And you know, you don't want it too thick, you don't want it too thin. Those are always just like the kind of beginning rules. Um, and, then, and then you pretty much flip it out of the mold and cut it out and then it's just a wet piece of clay that you, we leave there for usually a day or two to let dry. Um, we also add, a, like usually, there's sometimes we, we add little pieces like a fin or something like that just to give it a little more dimension. And then from there, the next step is we, we call it, well, we clean, cleaning up the fish, which fishermen, you know, they call it cleaning up, but it's a little bit different. And we just take a sponge and knife, clean around the edges, name, date, sign, number, the back of each one. And then from there is, from there we start to paint. We put backs on. Yeah, and, and then we start to paint, and that's really what takes the longest and, you know, is almost the most difficult, you know, after time because there's just more things to learn, so. And we, with the painting, that we have to put it on a bunch of different coats, um, depending on the fish. It could be, like, anywhere from uh, one color to five colors you end up spraying on, and then there's hand painting, too, so that's another... And that takes around like two to three days, depending on what fish you have and how much hand paint there is. The more hand paint, the longer it takes. And we do big batches, so we'll make a whole bunch of a certain fish. So if I'm making striped bass today, I'll, you know, might make striped bass all day today and tomorrow, and then we paint and we have a big banding wheel, and or, or we have a big, lazy Susan. kind of like a lazy Susan. So we get a whole bunch of them on at a time, just to make it go by a little quicker. And, and then what really takes the longest is the firing. Once we get a whole kiln load, we jam pack the kiln with all different fish. We have a bunch of different layers in the kiln. And the firing process is a full four days from start to finish, and it will come out on the fifth day. So it heats up almost to 2,000 degrees and then um, cools down. We glaze, which we actually did today. So we dunk them all in a clear glaze and then fire it again, and that's closer to like 1,900 degrees. And it you know heats up, takes a whole day to heat up, a whole day to cool down, and then they're and then they're out and ready to go on the wall. I'm Caroline. I'm Lauren. This is Granger Pottery, and we're Sandwich Local.